amount of 24 karat gold jewelry being sold at the Baitai Wholesale Showroom was staggering for me to see. All styles of jewelry were being selected by buyers with volumes sold in the kilos. Large 24 karat gold objects in traditional Chinese designs were constantly being selected and sold while I was in the showroom. I witnessed the electroforming process to make these 24 karat gold objects in the company's factory. Highly skilled artisans would carve a variety of intricate designs into the waxes that would eventually become the final gold objects. The first carved wax was used to create a mold in which wax could be injected to create multiple waxes that would go through the electroforming process. This wax carver is preparing an assembled little girl figurine. The heads of these figurines are injected using a harder wax and then attached to the bodies. The harder wax allows the carver to obtain sharper and crisper details in the facial area. The facial expressions will change from wax to wax, though the design can be customized, offering a variety of figurines in 24 karat gold. Highly intricate traditional Chinese designs were being carved into these objects by hand throughout the factory. Part of the wax process can involve using a wax pin to apply wax for the purpose of filling in voids and building up in areas of the object. Cold carving tools are used to remove parting lines and further detail the wax models. After the waxes have been completely detailed, they are moved into the plating department. Here, a silver metal conductive paint is applied so the gold will adhere to the wax during the electroplating process. The paint is applied by hand using a fine paintbrush. This allows the jeweler more control in applying an even coat on the piece and in between all the fine details. The silver paint is constantly swirling to keep the content properly mixed. Once the silver paint has been applied, the workers examine the piece for consistency. Fine sandpaper is used to remove any imperfections that would show up in the final electroform gold piece. After the electroplating process, the wax is left with a matte finished layer of 24 karat gold. Workers use a tungsten carbide burnisher to burnish the raised areas of the design. This creates a beautiful combination of highly polished raised areas against matte finished recessed areas. After the electroforming process, the wax sprues are removed from the design, leaving holes in the bottom of the piece. The wax inside will remain and act as a support preventing the gold from collapsing during the burnishing process. After burnishing, the pieces are heated, causing the wax to melt and drain out through these holes. Baitai had several automated chain-making machines manufacturing a variety of chain styles in 24 karat gold. I had witnessed many kilos of these chains being sold in their showroom. In contrast to automation, there were numerous bench jewelers assembling a variety of chains and bracelets by hand. Some painstakingly attached links with hand-formed beads, while others were soldering the links and bracelets together. Many of the torch techniques involve soldering or fusing pieces together. S-hooks are traditional for 24 karat gold chains, necklaces, and bracelets. This jeweler is melting the small remnant of the sprue which was left over from the casting process. In this area, I watched jewelers using a high-speed wheel with a sharpened steel pointed tool to cut a high polished groove in the center of a textured finished earring. The combination of high polish against textured finishes is very popular for the 24 karat gold jewelry. A similar device was used to cut high polish areas into chain links. 
these textured beads were maneuvered at an amazingly fast pace to create the high polished designs. Everything from high technology like this laser welder to hand fabrication were used to create literally tons of 24 karat jewelry at the Baitai factory.